In this video, we're going to import animated objects and characters inside Epic Games Unreal Engine 5. And if you're interested, you can check the entire video course in Unreal Engine 5 in our channel. Now I'm going to use the third person scene here template to remember that if you want to use a template, you can select the template that you want and launch the engine from the launch button there, the yellow button that you find also on the top right. And you can launch, you can select the different types of templates, but remember that you need to activate them there in the options. So if you click on the little arrow, you need to have the initial content and template and so on. I'm sorry that it, that's in Italian, but that's the only part that is going to be in Italian and it's easy to understand. Now you can see I've selected this third person scene right here, so you can do the same and open up the third person template that you find. Now this is not actually the, it's a little bit customized, so this is not the standard character that you will find in Unreal Engine, but it's really easy to to change it. You can find this in the marketplace, in the Unreal Engine marketplace, and again, you will find everything in the Unreal Engine video course. And that's also a meta human uh, in between the, the, the two other characters there. So it's possible also to create your customized meta human, which makes things even more interesting because then you can create your own customized character just like you do in video games. And it's, well, it's pretty easy like in video games, but you know, you need to know how to use Unreal Engine at least. So I'm gonna use Sketchfab because this is probably the, the most popular platform at the moment when you can search, find, download assets in 3D, 3D assets that can be totally free, CC0 public domain or CC by just by crediting the author. So I'm gonna try to work with some of these nice uh, animated meshes that you find in the in the website. So the first one here is gonna be the, this Spartan armor from uh, McCarthy 3D, that's the author. And you can click there to download. And um, you, you can see that usually you will find FBX. So FBX, it's the most popular, the most common format of, of file that you will find in the web when you wanna download assets. So I'm gonna go for FBX. And sometimes GLTF also can solve the issue. So sometimes it's also useful to have GLTF. So usually I download in FBX and GLTF from Sketchfab but the things may change in other websites, but we're gonna focus on Sketchfab. And if you're interested, you will find a Sketchfab video guide in the channel as well, or you can type in the comments your questions or ask for assistance and so on. Now make sure that the file that you want, it's animated if you wanna have a, an animation also in Unreal Engine. And you can see this one here also, it's animated. So I'm gonna go for, for also this other model here. Well, sometimes models, they don't have like really uh, visible animation. This is really a small animation. So it's not really interesting. Let's find perhaps something else, but you can use these. I, I wanna show you also that when you import, you will find also the materials, etc., etc. Sometimes you, you find the Blender format. So you need to open that in Blender and then perhaps export from Blender in FBX or GLTF. So we're also gonna talk about Blender because I think that you need to know at least one so 3D software to manage issues and um, problems. And this one also I wanna download because it's a beautiful dragon from this author right here and I'm gonna download it in FBX and also GLTF as usual. And um, well, let's go in a real engine five, let's start to work. First thing you want to do is to activate some plugins. Now I find uh, Datasmith plugins to be really handy. They're really good to import uh, things in your uh, in your scene. But you can see you have GLTF importer, you have FBX, IFC, so you can import uh, BIM files. You can import AutoCAD files and many other types of files. So you, you can import a lot of stuff using Datasmith. But, um, well, in my experience at the moment, uh, Datasmith 
doesn't handle the animations, the, the, the skeletal mesh animations. So, um, well, it's useful if you want to import materials and everything at once, but doesn't apparently work with the animation. So, uh, well, it's good for one thing, not good for another, but probably in the future, um, they're gonna fix this or perhaps I'm doing something wrong. So you can also write your suggestions in the comments. You can ask questions to other users or ask for suggestions. Now I'm gonna extract the folder that I have downloaded from the Sketchfab and there you will find the files that you need. So this is these are the textures right here and these are the 3D models. If you right click, you go in the properties, you can see which uh, format the 3D object that you have in the folder is and you can decide whether to go for the FBX or GLTF. Now, if you want to use DataSmith Importer, you can click on the plus icon and go to DataSmith. You can either link the file or import it. Now I'm going to go for import. And if you link, you can then go back to your original tree software. You can modify the original assets and the, it will be updated constantly and automatically. Now I'm gonna go for the FBX first and let's see what's gonna happen here. So I'm gonna, you can see nothing happens actually with DataSmith. So I need to go in the, in the standard method, which is file import and go to FBX. So I, I don't really know why, perhaps because it's an animated mesh and DataSmith doesn't work with animated mesh. So if the DataSmith plugin doesn't work, I'm gonna go for this classic import file. I'm gonna create a folder. And I'm going, to, I'm going really quick with this because a lot of this stuff is explained in the Arial Engine video course. Now you can see here that I have a floor, which I don't need. It's a static mesh that I don't need. So I'm going to uncheck that. But what I want is the skeletal mesh. So I'm going to go for the skeletal mesh. That's it. So we have a skeletal mesh. So perhaps we have an animated character. And so, well, I'm going to leave everything as it is here just make sure that a skeletal mesh it's inside and then go to import and then I'm gonna wait for the model to be imported okay now if I use that as mint the model will be already in the scene while if you use import you're gonna have a lot of assets in the folder where you import them and you need to recognize which is which so if you want animation you should find an animation file if you want a static character, you should find a skeletal mesh, which is ki kind of azure color, while the animation is green. So you should spot the animation file because it has a green tag, a green um, color. So this one here is the skeletal mesh. And it's without the animation and also without the materials. Now this is an issue, you can see that you need to fix your materials here. So you need to construct your materials. And I think this is an issue from this model in Sketchfab because I've tried with other models from other websites and it, it worked good. So we do have the skeletal mesh. We do have the animation there. Otherwise you, you can go to use animation asset and find the animation to play. I'm gonna make another example later. Just gonna rotate this and place it correctly. I also want to scale it up just to create kind of a statue like that. Now let's see if it's animated. So we don't have materials. We do have geometries. Let's see if we have animation. So I'm gonna play the simulation of the third person. And I'm gonna get real close because there is an animation there. It's really, really small movement of the character, but it's there. It's like it's breathing. So it's not really moving a lot. So we're gonna try with something else, but it's there. So we are missing the materials right now. Now let's go again to DataSmith import and let's try with GLTF, which is another format. And again, it's Sketchfab. I'm getting my dragon here in GLTF format and open up, create a folder as usual, try to be organized to manage everything correctly and not uh, make confusion. So eyes dragon open. And you can see that there is animation here in DataSmith import. But when I import, 
in GLTF. And again, I believe this is just, you know, a matter of time. They will fix everything. They, they will um, give you the possibility to import also the animation. Now, something strange happened here. You can see how many issues you can find. But if you know the software, you can find a solution. So in this case, I'm going to just navigate here in my uh, object properties, properties and I'm going to right click on this directional light, which is in the middle of my scene and right click on the object that you want to go to and just go to snap to view. And there it is. There's our dragon right there. It looks beautiful, but the, the view somehow it's, it's wrong. So let, let me just move this. Okay. Another issue, be careful. That's not one only, uh, only mesh but it's composed by many mesh you can see there and you want to get like the root um, object or the, the, the highest in the hierarchy that there it is right there but one thing I already see is that this is all static we have a bunch of static meshes now to fix qu the, the, the view we can go directly in the perspective and change to cinematic viewport and then select default viewport back again this solved the issue right away it's a quick fix okay so the problem here it's yeah we have a nice beautiful model with the geometry and the materials but we have a bone system right there i can see the bones but this is not actually working so when i press play so that has made just uh, does the job to bring the mesh inside with all the materials but you can see the skeletal mesh is represented by a skeleton and a static mesh by a little brick so when i import that it, it's it's not it's not working now i'm gonna go again into the icy dragon and try to bring in the fbx instead of using data smith so again the same operation that i did previously and here you can see that we do have a skeletal mesh. So FBX import, like the, the classic way, is better to use DataSmith in terms of animation, not in terms of materials. So, you know, they try, I think then they should bring everything together and give you the possibility to import materials and animation all together. Otherwise, there's always something missing. You can fix that again, but you need to know a real engine and blender. So I'm trying to show you the, the quickest way you can bring in models, which will be animated and also with materials in a real engine. So this one here has another issue. It's too small, so I need to scale it. So you need to know also whether your model is too big or too small. So you always need to fix something. And I'm going to place it right here and test the animation. I can see already materials are not there, but there you go. The animation is there. So we have two dragons, one with the animation, the other with materials. It would be really nice to have everything together. Now, I'm going to use Blender because in Blender, I can import either GLTF or FBX. Now, I'm using GLTF because I find out that Using GLTF, importing GLTF inside Blender will give you the materials. Instead, if I import the FBX, it doesn't give me the materials. So it's always, you know, something wrong some way or another. But this, this is working right here. We have animation and we have materials. So I suggest you import from Sketchfab using GLTF. And then we can re-export. So we can use Blender just to import and export in FBX to try to solve the issue. So I'm gonna call this something that I can remember. So Spartan FBX Blender or Blender. Well, that's gonna be fine for this. Now, I don't want cameras. I don't want anything except animation and mesh. I don't want lights or other stuff. So let's clean this a little bit and just gonna leave everything as it is for this for this um, exportation. I'm gonna go back here and again into import, not using DataSmith because it, it will not work. So I'm gonna open that up in the 
new folder here, I'm gonna call it Spartan, so just to not to get confused. And there it is, so the skeletal mesh is there, let's import, cross the finger, say your prayer and say and see what happens if everything is fine. So if we have the object, the material and the animation. Okay, now we do have the model and the materials, good, here it opened up the editor of the actor, so I can Select the actor here, which is gonna be the skeletal mesh and apply the animation. So I'm gonna select use animation asset and here to animation to play, you can see I only have one, so cannot make mistake. This is gonna be the animation that was exported as well. So I think that this looks good. So I'm gonna save everything and then I will bring it into the, the level. So you can see how many issues can be in there, but not every time it's gonna be your fault. Probably again, there is something wrong with the model that you downloaded. So you need to fix uh, the, the material sometimes, you need to fix the skeleton sometimes, you need to adjust the scale, the size. So you can find many, many troubles on the way, but don't get, let's say, discouraged, just move on. Now I just want to show you here that in renderpeople.com, for example, when I download, you can find, by the way, the Unreal Engine format, but if I download the FBX, it's working fine. So I'm going to show you also an example with this other model, just to show you that not every time something goes wrong. So sometimes, you know, there could be no issue at all. So let's first drop in the animation here. So the animated character, just the, the green file. And there it is. You can see it's already in pose. It's not a static pose. It's moving a little bit. You can see there it's moving. It's kind of breathing and like in a static pose. And it's a little bit small again. So I'm going to scale it. So you can see how many things needs to be adjusted many times. So. This is looking fine. Just going to show you also the character from renderpeople.com. So already imported and as an FBX, created a folder already. So I'm just going to go there and show you that again, I'm going to bring in the green animation animated character, not the pink skeletal mesh because it's going to be static. So just go there and this is upside down so again it's something to fix also here rotate it you can see now it's in the a pose the animation is there i can see here use animation assets the animation is already applied in this case so let's press play and there you go now it's not in an in an a pose but it's uh, moving and it's animated and so these are some examples of uh, let's say successful importing and also uh, other type that needs some fixing. But again, you will find all the notions that you want to know in the Unreal Engine video course and also in the Blender video course. So you will find two, the two video courses in our channel. And again, if you want assistance, write in the comments. If you want to give suggestions, write in the comments. And please subscribe to the channel to support us. And if you want to support us a little bit more, if you want to send us a little thank you, you can join the channel as a supporter. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.